Here at KMTV, we're working towards social justice and equality. We're bringing you stories of people and projects aimed at showing you how Omaha is moving forward. Now, during the pandemic, four local black men started a radio program to share their voices and by doing so, help others move forward. Good afternoon. Welcome to AJDW Conversation. We're so glad that you tuned in. AJDW Conversation. It's a radio show that started in September 2020. I had this ideal of coming together as guys, all black men coming together, talking and in sharing some of the lifestyles and some of the things that we have lived. AJDW Conversation is a program brought to you by four black men. AJDW stands for the initials of their names. Alan, an author. James, a pastor. David, a hairstylist. And Walter, a stylist. Now, the group meets here every single Monday and shoots one-hour-long episodes. They talk about anything from Black Lives Matter, marriage, sex, religion, and anything in between. But what's unique, it comes from our perspective. Not that we're right or not that we're wrong. It's four black men giving their perspective. Each week, they discuss a new topic. Right, and that is our topic for today, when it feels right. Discussing topics from different religious perspectives. And this is what really religion should look like. It should look like Methodist, Kojic, Baptist, Pentecostal, four men coming together, having values in life and respect for self. We're not going to always agree, but we have respect for each other. We have love for each other. And I think one of the things that's really so important about this is the fact that our people willing to sit down and talk and to open up and to share and have dialogue, because I think at that point, that's where you begin to get an understanding of each other. Yet they're drinking cavassier, <laughs> vodka. It's not necessarily a Christian program, per se, because we talk about all kind of things. We pay tribute to secular singers that we've just passed, like DMX just passed, and we did a special tribute to him. And we found that he did a gospel song, and we played that in the background. Special tribute to the late Shock G. Beyond sharing what's going on in the world, they share what's going on in their world. David Newsom, what's on top for Well, what's on top for me is I understand that um, the United States of America has ordered in all of these vaccines. The show is also forming a brotherhood. From the group, being the, being the young man of the group, um, it's a chance for me to let young men know that you can sit at the table with men that may be 10, 15 years older than you and know that they've got a story and know that they've walked some walks that you've walked and you can get some dialogue, have friendship, and at the same time be able to bounce some things off so you don't make those same mistakes in life. And helping each other battle systemic challenges like racism. But truth be told, the pandemic of fear and hatred of a people of a darker hue, that's our greatest pandemic. We are going through racism. It's like it is just at an all high right now. And so when we can talk together on how we feel about that process, it kind of eases the surface a little bit. The group hopes this will start a trend for others to share what's in their hearts. If we keep it bottled up, mm -hmm. then it has a capacity and has shown the capacity to basically implode and it can create even more damage going down the road. And how does that potential damage impact not just one generation, but can it impact and, say, take a second generation off track as well? And inspire other black men to use the power of their voice. We can talk about issues and we have something to say. The politician that told the basketball player to shut up and dribble? No. A black man, you got a voice and you can talk and you can share what you think and express how you feel about what's going on. We're not going to shut up and preach or shut up and do hair or shut up and do fashion or shut up and write a book or shut up and preach. No, we're going to shut up and we, we, we're going to continue to talk. We're not going to shut up. We're going to express how we feel as a black man in the United States of America. 
Another show airs on KRCO, reaching over six markets. It's all of us also available on any podcast listening platform and has even gone international. We'll have more on AJDW conversation on our website, 3newsnow.com.